on Gorda Shikona has endured the loss of a dear colleague. But more profound again, the family of Adrian Donoghue have lost a loving husband, father, brother and a son. It's fair to say that Shane not only brought great joy and life to Fine Gael, he also brought it equally to this house. And it's a measure of the affection in which he was <coughs> held that he is mourned so deeply and so widely. I just lastly want to say I salute the women who never gave up believing in themselves, who recognise themselves as human beings. I don't know if I would have had strength to have fought on, a, on, on, on this issue. And I have to say we see you, we hear you and we believe you. And last weekend there was a very serious development when horse meat was labelled as beef for export out of this country. An independent investigation, totally independent of the Minister and his department, should be put in place. The clear advice that emerged from these high-level contacts remains that comprehensive reform is likely to be the only manner by which a resolution for the undocumented can be achieved. The prospects for such reform have advanced in the wake of President Obama's re-election. Welcome to uh, Deputy Helen McEntee and uh, on my own personal behalf, on behalf of all the members, I hope that your time here will be very productive and happy. We do believe that in its current form that it needs to be uh, scrapped and reformed rather than abolished. It was an elitist um, entity, uh, partly voted in by university graduates for example. Uh, with no vote for ordinary working people who didn't uh, have the chance to go to university. And then... Minister, you committed uh, to a change in the inspections uh, by September 2013. Can I ask you uh, again, will that target be met? Um, are there an adequate number of public health nurses to carry out inspections? This legislation is about saving lives the life of the mother and her child wherever possible, and that this legislation upholds the constitutional equal right to life of the unborn. And today we miss and mourn and yet celebrate the incomparable Seamus Heaney. We give thanks joyously and graciously and humbly for the gift of him in our national life. He was our voice, our hearth our home. As W.B. Yeats said in Easter 1916, too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. I know that there is a view that the consolidation should go further, but people have already made many sacrifices. Making my estimate speech last year, I said I was confident that as a people we'd come through this mess, a mess created by those opposite who now jeer, and which was endured by the people of Ireland which endangered the very viability of our state. How do you explain to parents of profoundly deaf children that government policy and for the sake of 18,000 euros to provide a second cochlear implant is not going to happen? And I try to imagine what it would be like to be plunged into a world of silence because I haven't experienced that. None of us in this chamber have experienced that. And I want for the next two minutes to actually say nothing and getting some understanding of what those children have to endure. Because I simply would not accept that this continues and rolls on as long as it has because it's totally unacceptable. It's completely wrong. It's morally wrong. The people we're talking about are people who cannot talk, they cannot walk, they cannot feed themselves, and they need to be changed. And at the moment, they're sitting in their wheelchairs, having soiled themselves, waiting for an opportunity to change themselves. And I'm stuck with a letter saying that in July 2013, there was an application. We still haven't sorted at the end of November. And if we hold on, we'll still consider it sometime in the future. It's not acceptable, Minister. He once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. I think it's fair to say that few of us genuinely thought that the hated apartheid system would ever end in our lifetimes. But Nelson Mandela thought differently. And 
through his courage and conviction, the tyrannical system was brought crashing down.